What's going on guys? This is JT here. We have a new event coming to Diablo Immortal tomorrow. It is called the Hungering Moon event. Now, I must tell you guys, it's not really all that impressive. However, if you are a free-to-play player, it can definitely help you get especially a legendary crest. So let's go ahead and go over what it is. I also have a video at the end of this to uh, show you guys what it looks like in action as well. So we have complete objectives to earn moon silver silvers that can be used to earn blessings in the form of rewards. Earning seven blessings will unlock the final reward um, in the form of the moon's favor. So we got the probability. So we have a chance of getting certain rewards. We got a 49% chance to obtain one random legendary item, which is nice. Also 25 keys, which is nice as well, because as you guys know, you can only get up to four of those keys per day from the Ivan Fides event, right? So we have a 51% chance to obtain 65,000 gold, enchanted dust, scrap materials, glowing shards, more enchanted dust, scrap materials, and gold. The gold is nice. The other rewards, honestly, we have more than enough of pretty much all of those. So let's go ahead and get in and show you guys what it looks like. So it looks like right here, just for logging in, you get some of those rewards. So basically kill a thousand monsters, get some more rewards, right? Kill a hundred elite monsters, get some more rewards. So that's basically, you guys can kind of see where the event is headed. So if we keep going in, it looks like this is how it works. So we got blessings earned, O of seven. So it looks like you gain the moons and then you use them to draw, right? Whenever you draw, you have some sort of chance to land on one of those items or the big chest in the middle, which is the moon's favor, right? So I believe, what did it say? You had 49% chance to land on that moon's favor. You can do that maybe up to seven times, I believe. Hopefully that is the case because that is better reward. So we got, what does it say? The crescent moons carved from the teeth of some dead animal. Offer them, okay, so yeah, it's just telling you, offer those blessings, that way you can go ahead and snatch up the goods, right? So here are the moon favor rewards. We have a legendary crest, which is nice. We also have three regular crests, and then 25 keys. Obviously, everybody out there wants the legendary crest. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the video. So let's see, we got, yeah, it's basically just showing exactly the screenshots, but then showing you what it actually looks like once you claim it. So I don't know if they actually roll. I don't know if they roll on this video. Hopefully they do roll though. All right, so he's claiming the rewards right now. Claim, claim, claim. All right, hopefully this guy rolls. That would be relatively nice. I don't know how he's already in here claiming this. I don't know, maybe this uh, event came out on... Oh, okay, here we go, baby. Let's go ahead and hit it with a draw. Come on, land on the moon's favor and give him a legendary crest. What do we got? Oh, wait. Oh, nope. Uh, that looked like it was going to land on the moon's favor. Then it's like, nah, you're faked out, buddy. Oh, okay. So basically, if you don't get the moon's favor, it looks like it checks off certain things. So now these eight dust should be checked off. Yeah, okay. All right. So each chance, I believe, has a chance to land on the moon's favor. If it doesn't, oh, man, this guy's getting absolutely hosed. Unless it forces you to basically land on everything besides the moon's favor, and then at the end of the day, it looks like at the very end, once you collect everything, that's when the moon's favor actually comes out. I don't know what the percentage says. Like, what was that 49% that I ran? I, I must not have been paying close enough attention to that. So yeah, that's how it works. Obviously, he did not collect the middle chest because it looks like you have to actually turn in all the rewards to get the absolute goods. Like I said, pretty underwhelming event, but this is basically mobile gaming events, right? Like you can't expect really anything that big, especially since they're not coming out with an update yet. However, the first update for Diablo Immortal is coming out at the end of this month, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. Anyway, guys, hope y'all have an amazing night. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.